Using the regular WooCommerce Add to Cart process is not always what you need. Sometimes you need to get the user to add a number of products to the cart at once. The user's choices of products or your already specified list of products. At times, you even need to collect a user's data to somewhere else while simultaneously adding a product to the cart or sending the user straight to checkout with one click. Let's show you all of this and more in this video. Now, I have a landing page I'm building out here and I want to sell you a book that can change everything. But I also need to create a form where you would need to provide your name, provide your email address and how you heard about this book. But I need the possibility of you clicking get book and the product added to your cart or in your checkout right away. Now to accomplish this, just click on the form, come into actions after submit, ensure that you have checkout anything activated. Now let's come to WooGlue modules, toggle that on, click on settings and ensure that checkout anything is toggled on. Cool. Now, let's continue the process here. Let's open checkout anything, redirect to cart or checkout. Now the source could either be manual or form repeater field. We'll cover form repeater field soon, but let's start with manual. So let's add a new item and we have to select the product ID. We have the product created and it's called the book. This is the ID 4531. So let's copy that ID and bring it into Elementor and paste it here. Now we can select the quantity of this product. Let's use two, close that out, hit update, and we're done, we created the form. Now, be sure to use any other form submit action you wish, such as sending the user an email, thanking him for the book he purchased, or you can send it to a webhook, whatever information you wish, maybe to Zapier or Integromat or any of such platforms, or to a mailing list or any other form submit action you wish. Now, let's come to the front end, refresh this, and let's see how it works. We can now fill in the name, the email address, and how we heard about the book, which is, this is the usual way, dreams. And now we can click get book, form submitted, whatever form submit action you choose will fire. And you can see, this is the checkout with the book, two copies, and you can place order right away. That was easy if you ask me. Now let's do something a bit more complex. This time we will combine check out anything with a number of other glue modules to create something unbelievably seamless. We will be using the repeater field form extension, the repeater dynamic tag and the CPT form field. All of this we have covered individually in their own dedicated video so check this out. For now let's see how they can be used in combination with check out anything. Now let's get you familiar with our setup. We have the recipe CPT which we created with Jet Engine, and we've added a number of posts to that recipe. We've also created a meta box using Jet Engine, and we added a meta field which is a repeater meta field, and we want to add the number of products that can be used to make this meal. Let's say we have a recipe of rice for example, and we want to add the product salt and also the field for the number of this item. So we created a field type, which is posts, and we have pointed it to products, which is WooCommerce products, such that if we have salt listed as one of the items on our site, we can allow the user add any number of this item to the cart right from the recipe CPT. Now, let's take a look at one of the recipes, the fifth recipe, as you can see here. This is the repeater and the products. This is one of them. We need five of it. This is another. We need three of it. This is another. We need two of it. So you can add multiple, multiple items to this repeater. At the front end, this is populated beautifully. As you can see, we have the name of the recipe, the description of the recipe, and of course, we also have the number of products that are recommended for this meal and their quantities. We were able to make this listing work using the repeater dynamic tag of glue. So be sure to check out our video where we discussed how to use this. But now what we really want to do is to enable the user purchase the items to make this meal. The user will add his name as the name of the cook and add new items. The new items would enable the user select from this list of products and the quantity he wants to buy. And once he hits continue, he's taken straight to cart or to checkout. Sounds good? Good. 
Now let's come back into Elementor and see how we can make this work. This is the form. And these are the fields I have already created. The name of the cook, the item selection, which is the repeater start field, and the new item, which is the repeater end field. This becomes, of course, the name of the button used to add more items to this repeater. Now, we need to add the items within the repeater. This is the start, this is the end. So, what items will be within the repeater? Of course, they will be the products and the number of those products. So, let's create the fields for them. The first one, the product. So, let's come here, post types, label, product. The output, let's output this as a select field. The post type will, of course, be products. And this right here, would output all the products on the site. However, that is not what we need. We need the possibility to enable the user select only from the list of products the site admin has selected here, which of course would be the product used for this meal. So let's include specific post by ID. We're gonna click on dynamic tags, scroll down to repeater tag, which is another of Glue's dynamic tags, and we can click on it Select the source as jet engine since that's what we use to create a meta field. The context will be post for the current post correct. Now we need to get the repeater field and the subfield. Let's grab that first. The repeater field items for this recipe. Let's copy that. The subfield will be the product item because this is what we want to output and allow the user to select from. So let's copy that too. Now let's come back into that repeater tag. The repeater field will be items for this recipe. The repeater subfield will be product item. But this is not all. We need to toggle on collective output because we need this to return the list of all the IDs of the selected products from the back end. So once we toggle on collective output, we'll be able to select how we want it to return as an array or a delimiter of separated values. A delimiter of separate values, of course, because we need to separate them by commas. That's the usual way of returning a list of post IDs that we want to populate in the front end. So let's add a comma. Now we can close that out. Now that we have all the product IDs of the products within the repeater returned in this field, it's now time to drag in that field into the repeater. So the start and the end, and that's the product field there. Now let's add one more field. This would be a number field. And of course, we want to use this to select the number of each item that will be added to the cart. So let's call it number of item. Let's come to advanced and give it an ID of number of item. Let's copy that ID, we'll need it soon. Let's drag it in here. Let's ensure we have the IDs of all this copied. The name of cook, copied. The item selection, which is the repeater start field. Rep start, copied. The products, product copied. The number of item, number of item copied. Good. Now, in our actions after submit, we have checkout anything added here, and we can come into checkout anything. We can redirect to checkout or to cart, but for this purpose, let's use checkout. So, click on checkout. The source would be form repeater field. So, we can click on that. Now, we'd need the repeater field ID. So the repeater start field, rep start. We need the subfield for the product ID, which we called product. And we also need the subfield for product quantity, which we called number of item. Once that is done, we're basically done. Let's hit update and come to the front end and check out what we have right now. So let's refresh. And now let's customize this cart for ourselves. So the name of cook, you. New item, the product, as you can see, it returned the list of all three products that we have here. We can select the first one and say we need three. We recommended five, but we're choosing three. The next one, this, you recommended three, but we're choosing two. And one more, this, you recommended two, but I'm choosing five. When all that is done, we hit continue and it redirects us straight up to the checkout where we have all of the items we selected, including the book we already selected before because we didn't check out as a den. Now, let's show you one more thing you can explore yourself. If you come back here 
into the Elementor editor, you can see that a new product can be created from the repeater fields. If you toggle this on, add a new item, you can see that it's possible to add a repeater stop field, which will be a form field within the repeater here, that will carry any of this meta field IDs, either the title or the description or the price or the stock keeping unit or product shot description or custom meta field. If you add title, for example, you select the repeater subfield. If you add the custom meta field, for example, you simply add the meta key and the repeater subfield of that form. Once that is done and the process is complete, a new product is created. So think of how you can use this to create an amazing system. You may want a user to create a new product that he can purchase immediately. So for that, toggle on create new products from repeater fields. Think of a situation where a user can create a product himself, something like a donation plan where the user can donate an amount now and his plan or his newly created product can be used by others to make the same donation or product purchase as it were. Really the limit is your imagination. We'd love to see what you do with this. And just in case you're wondering how to add one button that brings multiple products into the cart without any modification by the purchaser, then you really are looking for Bundle Maker, a widget from Glue that can help you accomplish just that. We have covered that in another video, so check that out. For now, remember that you can visit glue.ooo to see more tutorials and you should subscribe and stay updated with the new videos we have coming. Bye for now.